Uh, Renee says, um, do you have any suggestions for coming up with a business name? I'm a newly graduated naturopathic doctor and have been working on my ideal client and niche. Yes, right. So you're deep in debt. Got it. <laughs> the uh, Okay. And so the niche you've got is I help people regain vitality, health, and energy with products from nature in the nanopharmacology language of the body. Okay. Um, so I'm here because I love you all. Right. So, so the way the way I love you is is tough love. Uh, so you can feel what's coming, Renee. Um, but <laughs> brace yourself. But it's here's why I'm doing it. I would rather it fails here than out there, because here we get to laugh about it. But in the marketplace, it's not so funny when you spend a bunch of money on an ad, and you booked a venue, and you booked the time, and nobody shows up or the wrong people show up. That's expensive. And I'd rather save you the cost. So, okay, so Renee, I would say that niche is what we could, that we, that's very shallow and wide. Um, everybody would probably say, yes, I'd like to regain vitality, health and energy. I think most people would say that. And then it goes right into the boat, I would call it. Yeah. So we've got a very broad generic journey from island A to B, but then the, the, the boat products from nature and a nano from, Pharmacology, nobody knows what nanopharmacology is, so that's jargon that will confuse and lose people. And nanopharmacology language, zero people know what that is, um, except other naturopaths who aren't going to hire you. Uh, so you see what I'm saying? So this is the, the trouble. Now, in terms, so I, I'll just say there's more work to do on the niche, and you're just starting. So it's really proper that it's not totally clear for you right now. There are four phases of business. Um, um, Betty, I don't know if you're able to grab it, but on my website, there are four stages. It's marketingforhippies.com slash four dash stages, I'm pretty sure. But uh, Renee, I'd invite you to read it because it sounds like you're probably in stage one. And it's just good to be where we are as opposed to trying to skip a step. And so where you're at is what we call the, the creation state. It's new. So there's gonna be a lot of experimenting. There's gonna be a lot of trying this niche, that niche, you know, um, rolling out with this. So you have a general sense of who it is and um, you're, you're probably just gonna to need to do a bunch of tests and work with a bunch of people. But the key is this, when you're in that phase in business, you pay attention. You take real good notes every time you work with somebody. What I like about them, what I not like about them. And that goes back into your marketing. So there's a lot of learning very fast and you can do it literally client by client. So you develop those filters so that people who are not such a good fit just don't get through the filters anymore. Yeah. Um, and what else was I gonna say? Yeah, and then you'll, you'll have some ideas like, oh, I'd be interested in working with people on, on this issue. Well, instead of branding your whole business around that, you just do a workshop on it. You do a little offering. You say, hey, I'm taking in 10 clients to work on this. I've got this protocol I want to try with 10 clients. Who's interested? Does that make sense? Like little, small, discrete beta tests. Does that make sense, Renee? You're new. You're new. Uh -huh. Yeah, like uh, little target market. You yeah, know. and little, little offerings to them. So uh, if you go to my uh, YouTube channel, and Betty, maybe if you can grab this, in the YouTube channel, there's a playlist called Beta Tests or Pilot Programs. And um, I would watch all of those because that's the thing to have your eye on. The, the mistake we make early on in business is we try to name it too soon. You know, you have this with parents where a baby's born and they give it a name and they realize later that wasn't the name. Sometimes you just got to give it a minute. You're like, who is this one? What's the personality? Let's pay attention to them before we give them a name. And then sometimes, of course, they get a different name as they get older. You know, people pay attention and then, then you get a different name. So same with the business. Um, we can try to label it a little too soon. So I wouldn't worry so much about the business name. That's all a long prelude to 
I wouldn't I wouldn't stress about it. You just going with your name is probably fine. Uh, you may change it over time, and that's okay too. Uh, but um, ah, and then Betty on my blog, if there's something, there's a blog about business names. There's like seven different ways to name a business. So there are a bunch of ways to think about it. So I'd invite you to read through the post because it's, um, there's different ways. And it's sometimes we get locked in sort of one formulation of what a business name could be. Yeah. Uh, so I would dig into that because that may help. Uh, and then I would, but I would pay even more attention to naming your offers to specific little groups. And then um, over time, the business name may come. For example, my business name, when I first started, I called it Radical Business. I, I don't know, the name came out of somewhere, it just sounded cool, and I, but it was just tadhargrave.com. And then it was, two th I, can't, I can never remember, somewhere around 2009 through 2011, the name Marketing for Hippies came to me it was just what I joked. And this is stuff to pay attention to and how you describe what you do. People say, what do you do? I said, ah, marketing for hippies. That was the joke. And then I realized, oh, that's a great name. And the, you were always available to my amazement. And, and so that became it, but it took years. I started full-time in 2006 and I'd started informally, let's say 2001. So 10 years later, the penny drops and there's the name. So you'll, you may find a better name comes. You just gotta have something. The, the main thing is this for everybody as you're looking at naming anything. Easy to spell, easy to remember. All That's more important than just about everything. Because let's say they meet Renee at a party. It's like, man, she was talking about this amazing nanopharmacology language of the body. <laughs> and it was amazing. I've never been so fascinated. And uh, somebody says, oh yeah, what's her, do you, do you have her website? that's the moment right because otherwise if it's too difficult they say oh it was um oh shit what was it? oh it's this very interesting word <laughs> how do you spell nanopharmacology or something you know and then it's oh is there a dash i thought there might be a dash in there no dashes easy to spell easy to remember simple by the way like uh, renee where do you live I'm currently in Sandpoint, Idaho. Okay, so. But I'm not saying. <laughs> okay, getting out of there. All the Californians are coming in, you're getting out. Um, so, but if let's say you stayed in Sandpoint, it could be Sandpoint Naturopathic or sandpointnaturopath.com. You, you probably couldn't do better. Just naming it after the town, because again, that's easy to remember that more important than anything is that. Does that help at all? Yeah, it does. Okay. And to just kind of keep going. I mean, I have been continuing forward, but then I'm like, okay, the like, seems like so much of the marketing and, you know, website or whatever needs a name. You're like, okay, my name or a catchy name or. It, totally. It's less important than we think it is yeah we got to have something but you can change your instagram handle you can change your website you can like all these things can be changed so in the beginning i would just start simple memorable easy and if you get something good roll with it and if you may get something better down the road and that's fine too because if you get something better then you can do a whole relaunch and you can be fancy about it send out an email have a party you know new name tell everyone about it and it's a good way to reintroduce yourself to your people so it's not bad to change it if you need to just not every year <laughs> also yeah. I changed my name to a a stray a love child of the human tribe you know or whatever it's like whatever 